most mysterious extinct human species. Homo heidelbergensis The Homo heidelbergensis lived in Europe and possibly Asia around 700,000 to 200,000 years ago. It was an early species of human that had a very large brow ridge, and a distinctly larger brain case and a flatter face than those that came before them. This was the first early human that lived in colder climates. It is believed they were able to do so because of their shorter, wider bodies that helped to conserve heat. They were the first species that we know of that built shelters from wood and rocks, were adept at using fire, and routinely hunted large animals with wooden spears. Workmen in Heidelberg in Germany first discovered them in 1908, which is where they got their name. Despite knowing a few details about how they lived based upon further discoveries that have been made, there's still a lot that we don't know. Homo rudolfensis The Homo rudolfensis lived in eastern Africa between 1.9 million and 1.7 million years ago. It was a very early species of human, and evidence of them is so rare that there's only one example of a good fossil that was found in Kenya in 1986. The feature that makes the Homo rudolfensis different is the size of the brain casing. In the example that has been found, it measures at 775 cubic centimeters, which is much larger than has been found in any specimens of earlier species, and signifies a much larger and capable brain. It also had a longer face and larger molar and premolar teeth that show its links to more recent types of human. Because the fossil of Homo rudolfensis comes from so long ago, we know very little about this species we don't even know if it comes from the same lineage as we do, or whether it was one that eventually died out through competition with more capable species. Homo habilis Homo habilis lived in eastern and southern Africa between 2.3 million and 1.4 million years ago which makes them one of the longest surviving species of any of our ancestors. They are one of the earliest Homo species, and thought to be one of the first steps of evolution to what we are today. They had a larger brain case and smaller face and teeth than their predecessors, but still showed ape-like features such as longer arms and legs. They weighed about 70 pounds and would grow to be up to 5 feet tall. The first confirmed fossil of Homo habilis was discovered in 1960. The name habilis means handy man in reference to the fact these are thought to be the first ones to use stone tools. Of course they lived an extremely long time ago so there's a lot about them that we don't know yet. Homo floresiensis The Homo floresiensis, often called the hobbit lived in Indonesia between 100,000 and 50,000 years ago. This is one of the most recently discovered species, having been found in 2003, and so far finds have been limited to the island of Flores. This was a very small species, a trait that is thought to have occurred because of island dwarfism where the limited resources available to creatures that are isolated on islands causes different evolutionary effects. They were only about 3 foot 6 inches tall, had very small brains, no chins, receding foreheads and very large feet. These estimates are based on a female skeleton that was found, that also suggests they could weigh up to 66 pounds. The discovery of this species has raised more questions than it has answered for researchers. Homo erectus the Homo erectus lived across Africa and Asia between about 1.9 million and 143,000 years ago, and were the longest surviving species of human. They are the oldest known species that exhibited features seen in us today the proportion of the torso to arms and legs were similar to ours. They had an expanded brain case, they were good at using tools like hand axes, and there's even evidence to suggest they took care of the sick and elderly. These adaptations show that this species lived on the ground, and were able to walk upright and even run. Fossils of this species have been found across the globe in several African countries, China, Indonesia, and Spain.
they were suited to a wide range of climates, were much taller than the rest, up to six feet, heavier at up to 150 pounds, and had large brain cavities that suggest a big improvement in intelligence. Homo Neanderthalensis Homo Neanderthalensis lived around Europe and the Middle East between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago. They are our closest extinct human relatives, and coexisted with modern humans for a long time before finally dying out. While known to us as being unintelligent cave dwellers, this species were actually capable of intelligent thought and were able to adapt to some of the harshest environments. They were shorter and stockier than us, and had a large middle part of their face, angled cheekbones, and a really big nose that helped to regulate the air temperature and humidity as they breathed. Neanderthalensis fashioned tools from wood and stone, used fire for a variety of purposes, built shelters for themselves and even wore clothes. They hunted large animals for food, ate plants, and were even known to make ornamental objects. Some discoveries have also suggested that they buried their deceased in graves, which is a behavior not seen in any previous species of human.